Congressman Roilo Gones. But just to share with you a few, a few of the highlights of his CV, I'd like to share with you that Congressman Roilo Gones is now on his fifth term as Congressman, having been elected in landslide victories in 1992, 1995, 1998, 2004, and 2007. And no, while this may be a rare statistics for our congressman, I'd like to share as well that he has been consistently receiving the Outstanding Congressman of the Philippines Award. And he is one congressman that has a perfect attendance record from the beginning. I said that's rare statistics in Congress. And if uh, you may know, may I share also with you that he has never been late to any session in Congress.
City para ng akin pero pataga para ng akin sa inyo. At uh, anong school ko? St. Paul, of course, in La Huerta. It's a very good school, a lot of uh, very distinguished uh, leaders of uh, Paranaque who came from that school. Sa iba po, ano pa school? Immaculate. Immaculate. Uh, in the Barangay del Bosco. Yes, Barangay del Bosco. And there's also St. Andrew's Academy in uh, La Huerta. So, marami salamat. I'd like to thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity. Well, right now, just to tell you what is the parliamentary situation in uh, the House of Representatives, it's still the period of interpellation. Uh, for those who are not very familiar with the parliamentary or uh, the so-called parliamentary process, there is a period of sponsorship. Yan yung nag speech si mga authors, mga sponsors in favor of the bill. In this particular case, uh, House Bill 5043, tapos na yan. Now it is the period of interpellation, which means that uh, those who are wondering about the bill, those who are basically against the bill, are allowed to ask questions. And since it's a very thick bill, more than 30 pages, then we can expect that there will be a lot of questions. Like if you ask uh, one question per page, then that will be about 30 questions. And uh, 30 questions will take a long time to finish. Uh, it's not only three sessions that I've handled it. I think I've handled it in more sessions because I have a very structured interpolation system. I use a PowerPoint where I have enumerated my basic points. So Congressman McMahon, the sponsor, can accuse me of meandering because sometimes one parliamentary way of uh, delaying the proceeding is by meandering, you know, going from one item to another, going round and round and round, but uh, the sponsor can say, you are already going circles. You are delaying the proceeding. But in my particular case, it's have a very structured presentation and interpolation back by PowerPoint. He cannot accuse me of delaying the proceeding. It is he who will be delaying the proceeding. 